Sales.com. Well, I showed you this contraption the other day. I was kind of teasing you with it. And it's going to be a really cool core exercise that you're going to see. Normally, I do this exercise with just the body bar. Um, but today, it, what I did the other day is as I was doing the exercise, it felt really easy. Um, so I'm like, what can I do to it? Well, I knew what I wanted to do to it, but it was how. So I looked down, and I wanted to add more resistance, but a little instability um, to it. So I tied it with a flex band, and I used a sledgehammer, because it was just here, and it's in my studio, and we use them for lots of things. So what you're going to see is a really cool core exercise that you can create at home with a pipe, um, any kind of bar, duct tape, sledgehammer, um, you can tape a dumbbell around it, you can tape another part of a pipe around it, anything to add a little resistance at the top. And the reason you want it at the top is when you see this exercise, you want the resistance away from your core because our, our, um, our arms and our legs, our limbs are an extension of our core. So why not have some good resistance out there as long as it doesn't hurt you. If it hurts your joints, then you, you can't do it or you take a little weight off. But I'm going to show you this exercise. Um, normally, I walk the whole length of the studio, but we can't do it because of the because uh, I'm here alone and I have nobody to follow me. So I'm going to show you this exercise. It's going to grab the core. It's like a magnet, but it's also going to recruit tons and tons of stabilizer muscles in my shoulder because that's the arm. Um, that's the muscles I'm mostly going to be using. But automatically, it's going to grab the core. Okay. So here we go. See how it's moving? It's already. I just love it. It's already recruiting those core muscles. So for now, to start, if you, if you do this at home, start a little higher towards the resistance, towards the heavy part of the resistance. Arm is as fully extended as it can be with your hand just above your shoulder. And all we're going to do is we're going to lunge across the floor, big lunge, big step out, whew, squeezing your core. You want to keep your hand up there the whole time. That's the goal. So this thing is shaking, recruiting muscles. All that resistance is a way from my core. Okay? Now, we're going to come a little lower. This actually is heavy. It's an 18 pound body bar plus an 8 pound sledge. Unless I forget the like 3 ounces of flex band. Here we go. Arms out. Lunge. It's moving. It's moving. It's working the shoulder. It's grabbing the core. Big step out. Yeah. Squeeze the core, help it balance, adjust if you need to, like I need to. Lunge, 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 lunge. Good stuff. So you can see it moving. When it's moving, the resistance is in my, is in my hand, away from my core. It's just grabbing my core muscles. So we all know core is good for everybody, whether you're a mother, father, Whoever you are, athlete, professional, little league, high school, college, core is good. Many ways to work it, and I'll keep you in my mind whenever I come up with new stuff. So remember, do it at home. Pipe, duct tape, dumbbell, another piece of a pipe. Have fun. Check back often. www.barrylovelace.com. Have a good day.